Hey, want to see your suggestions drawn on a future episode of the Doodle Stream? Join me live every Friday from 5 to 8 p.m. Eastern at twitch.tv slash Mr. Hinkle Draws. But while you're here, enjoy this previously recorded live stream. And don't forget, as an artist, I require validation. Hit that like button. And if you're new here, subscribe for more art from Mr. Hinkle Draws. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Doodle Stream, where every Friday here on Twitch, we spend three hours together while I attempt to doodle out your ideas and suggestions from the chat. I pick the theme and you pitch the ideas. If you like the artwork you see today, don't forget, I am everywhere. Exclamation point socials in the chat. You can find me everywhere. I am on all the socials, all under the same username, at Mr. Inkle Draws. If you're not already following, I would greatly. Thank you, Hawkeye Lego Man. Using our brand new, fresh, hot off the presses panda alert. <laughs> No, it will not, Ray. What's up, Ray? <laughs> so, just <laughs> let me finish what I was saying first. Um, so yes, if you're not already following me on social media, I would really appreciate it if you would. That'd be awesome. I do post every single day, so I post artwork every day on all the things. And if you really, really wanna help, exclamation point Patreon. Patreon is super important, really, really important to me. I think I take pretty good care of my patrons, but you know, that's me, I'm biased. Um, but you can head over to patreon.com slash Draws to find out more information about my Patreon community. I send out gifts in the mail, I have exclusive content. Um, they get access to all the artwork I draw here during this show, they can download it, use it for whatever they want. And, um, and there's a lot of other incentives, so please check it out if, if you are not familiar. So, no, don't, <laughs> don't worry about a Hawkeye Lego Man. So, we have a brand new alert debuting today, which is the Panda Alert. And the Panda Alert is in celebration of Polish Panda's incredible generosity. She donated $50 to the computer fund because my computer is failing me. Exclamation point, upgrade. I am trying to get a new machine uh, this machine has served me quite well, but I am, uh, I'm not aggressive. I just use it heavily every day, like all day, every day, 12, 14 hours a day. And it's starting to get old. It's starting to show some wear and tear, especially during live streams. It has a hard time with all the live stream stuff. So if you'd like to donate, I would be greatly appreciated. Um, and Polish Panda donated $50 to the fund, so... She gets her own custom panda alert, but anybody can use it. It is the world's panda alert. <laughs> and don't worry, it will not get annoying. I think it's funny. I think all the clips are funny. I never get tired of hearing them. So today, ladies and gentlemen, today our theme is vehicles in pop culture. And that is a theme suggested by uh, Jinxy425, which is one of my longtime patrons, um, we are back to our patron-submitted themes. So there is a running thread on my Patreon page where patrons can suggest entire themes for the episode of this show. Um, and the exact wording was like famous, famous vehicle seen in film and television. And so I kind of massage that into vehicles from pop culture. So hopefully that still gets the same same point across. Um, something I did not do, I'm actually getting very bad at this. I did not reach out to Jinxie and ask if there was something in particular they wanted to see. I'm getting pretty bad at this. I'm, You know, the thing is I'm getting comfortable. I'm getting comfortable and so I wait to the last second. The last second I'm like, oops, I'm out of time. I can't do anything. It's not good. That's not how it should be. Um, if you have a suggestion for me, I do have a suggestion box. You should be able to find it. 
Uh, speaking of which, I should probably open it, yes? I haven't even looked at it yet. But you can drop a suggestion into the suggestion box. That is what I will pull from as I draw today. And thank you guys very much for being here and spending some of your time with me. Let's see, where are we, where's our suggestion? There it is, see, look. Look at all these. Look at all these awesome suggestions already. Java Sailwatch blowing up. I didn't even realize that was the name of it. I mean, I'm not surprised because everything in Star Wars, of course, has to have a backstory and a name and all of that stuff. But yeah, you know, drawing sail barge does sound pretty cool. I've never drawn Java sail barge, so let's start with that. I don't know if I wanna necessarily start with it blowing up. So I'm just gonna draw it not blowing up. Is that okay? Is that all right? Okay, I'm just getting a reference image here. I hope everybody's doing well on this Friday. Thank you, as always, for being here. Let me uh, do this. get my reference image here. Uh, and yeah, feel free to ask any questions, engage however your heart desires. All right, I'm gonna mark this as complete even though I'm doing it right now. So we're gonna do Java Sail Barge. And I know it's been a little bit. I know you guys have been on the edge of your seat, right? Waiting for me to come back because I've been gone for two weeks. Traveling the world, not really. Not really traveling the world, but I had my massive like half a year planned out yard sale, which was highly successful, highly su mission accomplished. And then I went to Washington DC and did awesome con. What's up, Nick Lands Art? What did you do this pack? Well, well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Nick Lands Art was there too because we are what you call professionals. Maybe you should not call us professionals. We are what you call artists trying to make it work. <laughs> but it was very successful. Um, so the the show, I did all the numbers, right? Because I got to tally all the everything up when I get home. And it was a highly successful show for me. It was a record breaker, which is awesome. I finally, finally broke $1,000. I've never broken $1,000. So spoiler alert, Kevin has never made more than $1,000 at a show. And I've done 20 something shows and never made more than $1,000. Until now, of course. So that was really awesome. I also had a couple new prints for sale for the first time. And people bought them, so that was nice. There's a lot of times where I, I release a new thing and then it doesn't sell, so it's like, it doesn't mean that it'll never sell, but it's like, I get pretty hyped up about it and I'm spending a lot of time working on it and then I launch it and then nobody buys it. And it's like, mm, all right. And it takes, it takes time. And so it was nice to see the brand new prints sell. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So I have been working today, but I haven't really been doing a lot of this kind of drawing, I've been mostly an illustrator today, which is, you know, it's different. It's the same, but it's different. Nick Land says, that's awesome to hear, especially the new stuff. Yeah, you know what I mean, right? It's like you do a new thing and you've invested all this time and you're hyped about it, you're excited, you've been teasing it online and then it launches and then nothing. <laughs> 
it's like, it doesn't mean it's never gonna sell, right? You just gotta be patient. But like that initial, it's like when you, you follow these incredibly amazing artists that are independent out there and they like, they, they of course they have much larger following, so let's be fair. They have much larger followings, all the numbers. And they'll tease a thing and then they'll announce it and then the thing sells out. It's like, well, sorry everybody, all 500 of the things that just launched today are, are out. And it's like, oh, <laughs> I don't know what this feels like. What's up, Akil? Hello, hello, hello. Nice to see you. Akil, did you change your username? I think you did, right? Or did it say that before? Makes art, that's pretty sweet. Mystery Machine is a great suggestion. Throw that in the suggestion box for me, would you please? That is, uh, we're capturing all the suggestions down there. Help me out a little bit. See, I haven't done, um, like I was saying, this kind of sketch, sketch art today. This is the first time I'm kind of doing this. That's all right. The creative juices have been flowing today. So this needs to come out like that. Yeah, no problem. Don't worry about it. You don't need to apologize. And yet you changed your username. Sweet. Are you streaming? Do I need to go watch your channel? Oh, we got like, so we got all this paneling and stuff. I'm just kind of making it up. There's like a row of panels like this. And then there's like these long, thin windows like that. That's kind of the thing. Uh, and Ray, how are you doing, Ray? I know you were here right at the beginning. You've been a little quiet. I'm assuming you're at work. How's Funny Figs today? How's my favorite Raymond? Little doodads and things. The little the greebling as it as it is called sometimes. Uh let's see. No, I did that because of my YouTube channel. So okay, I got you. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright, so now we got the little railing. It goes like this. And it goes back up. Comes out like that. But yeah, if you guys have any questions about uh, AwesomeCon, please let me know. Be happy to share all the info. Like I said, it was a, it was a record-breaking show for me. I would like to go again if I can. It's not a guarantee because they, they create their applicants for the artist area. So it doesn't mean I'll be back whether I want to or not. That's not up to me. And yes, staying with friends so I don't have to pay for hotel is massively helpful. So shout out, shout out to my, my local friends in Maryland for letting me stay with them. Okay, so I feel like this whole thing I just drew is fine, but it needs to be like, like, yeah, like squished. It needed to be squished. We're gonna squish it. Uh, Hawkeye Lego Man says, was AwesomeCon awesome like it says it is? So here's the one thing that was kind of unfortunate. The only thing, the only thing that was kind of unfortunate is I didn't get a chance to really walk around at all, at all. I did like a couple laps and they weren't really laps. They were like just the artist area and not even the full artist area. Like I didn't go even into like the vin, like the more, you know, um, the, the more like craft vendor stuff. Like I, it was just the artist tables and it wasn't enough time. I didn't take enough time because I, I just really couldn't. Um, I had help, 
But it, the show was so busy that I didn't necessarily feel as comfortable as I would in another scenario walking away for too long. So I didn't get to like experience everything, which is a shame. I, I like to take a lap or two, you know, just to see what the event's all about. And I did not do that, unfortunately. Unfortunately. I wanted to see a lot of cool stuff, but all I really explored was just the main artist areas. And I definitely would not say I did a thorough job of it. I still have that poster from that Valentine's Day event. Nice. Squash, squeesh, yes. Yes. Yeah, which one did you get, Akil? Was that the the Five Nights at Freddy's one or a different one? Which which one did you did you get? Or no, you got the Doodle Stream one, didn't you? The Doodle Stream uh 2021? Those are all gone now. I have no more of Doodle Stream prints. I think this is probably good. We can color this. Yeah, it was a bummer. What's up, Gizmo Non-Binary? How are you? All right, let's put color. Let's put color. Color. Thank you to everybody who is here. As always, you guys are awesome. Yes. Hi, Kevin. Yes, hello. Hello, non Hello, Gizmo Non-Binary. Hello. Welcome. Music's okay, right? You guys can, can hear the music and it's not too loud. It's not overpowering me. I hope. See, I also haven't had a chance to mess around with my my new iPad that my awesome colleagues at Ethocracy got me. I need to, I have had no time to mess around with it yet, but I need to. Yeah, it's good volume. Okay, good, good, good. And this is cool, thank you. Thank you guys, appreciate it. It's always hard to tell. You know, I do open up the stream on my phone so I can listen to it a little bit when I'm doing the, uh, you know, throwing all the social things everywhere. But it's like, eh, can I trust that? I don't know. So we're doing today's episode, episode, what is this, 102? Is vehicles. So we're back to vehicles again, which is okay. Vehicles from Pop Culture. So this is a patron. We're back to patron themes. So I asked folks that support me over on Patreon if they had some suggestions for themes. And they certainly do. So this is uh, Jinxy425, one of my patrons wanted famous vehicles from like television and film and stuff. So I kind of said, well, let's just do pop culture. How about Yes, I'm at 930 points, 4,000 to go. Wait, I missed 100, you did. You missed episode 100, it was a lot of fun. I'm sorry. Um, if you wanna go back though, the stream, I did save the stream uh, and I put it on my YouTube channel. I can't remember, I mean, cause you know, Twitch only keeps it for 90 days, I think. So I think it should still be there, but it'll be on my YouTube channel until I, until I choose it to not be on my YouTube channel. So you can go there if you wanna see it. And I'm talking the whole stream, like the stream in its entirety is there. But it was good. So we did, um, we did Doodle Redemptions. So I went back through the first 100 episodes and I found um, drawings I didn't like, basically. And we redid them, which was fun. I enjoyed it. Cool, all right. I think that's uh, good for our first one there. So we've got Java Sail Barge. We need to shrink you. You need to like, just hang out over here, how about? All right, 
Thank you for that awesome suggestion. Uh, let's go back up in here. All right, let's reload the suggestion box. All right, I'm gonna move to the next one. Uh, Rick and Morty's ship. They kind of have like a classic UFO, don't they? I've never watched this show. Yeah, it's like classic UFO. Um, it's got like trash cans on the side. I think, right? Uh, yeah, I've been getting the notification from YouTube. Very good. Glad to know that is working as it should be. All right, I'm gonna use this image, I think. Yeah, I'll just use that one. So yeah, I, I need to... Uh... I need to mess around with that iPad. I have I had no time. I've been very, very, very busy. I'm actually kind of exhausted, I won't lie. I lay down earlier um, just to kind of take a break in between some check-ins on some client work. Because uh, sometimes, you know, I'm working on something and then I need to get some input, so I'll send it off and I'll be like, all right, I'm going to take a break. Thank you. <laughs> the heart and the cat. And uh, so, yeah, I just kind of went and crashed and uh, fell asleep. <laughs> Which I'm not like a nap person. I don't do any of that stuff. So it's kind of like, oh, oh, I see. I see. <laughs> I keep waking up super early, you know? I'm not a, like, like I mean super early. So I like normally wake up at like six. But remember, I have, I have a child. Usually gotta get him ready for school and stuff. And so like during the week, my alarm is set to six and I get up at six normally. But like for the last couple weeks, I keep getting up real early. Like I naturally wake up at like five or like 4.45, and then I'm like, I'm up. And I'm like, ugh, why am I up already? And once you're up, you're up. You know, once you're up, you're up. I should probably draw these like seats and stuff in here actually. Get these little, get these little chairs going on. I go to bed though pretty pretty reasonable. I don't stay up super late. Like I am a kind of like 11, 10, 30, 11 usually is when I go to bed. Wouldn't know how that feels <laughs> to need sleep. All right, let's uh, this. So we're gonna do another Another one of these, because it needed to be, it needed to be chunkier. We need to get a little bit, a little bit more chunk. This is one of those moments where you can mess this up pretty easily. It's kind of difficult for me uh, on the on the tablet to kind of do those big sweeping line motions that I would do if I'm like working traditional. It's not the same. Not the same. Okay, so we got 
We have uh, trash. Nah, that looks terrible. Terrible. It actually kind of hangs over the side a little bit. Like, kind of like this. Right, and then there's another one. Kind of, well, it should be further back. I'm so tempted to redeem points, but I won't. Hey, you do, you live your best life. Funny Fig says, okay, I'm back. Repeat everything you just said since we started. Ah, oh, very good. Very good. Well, earlier I asked you, Ray. I said, how's, how's my favorite Raymond doing? And you didn't answer, so that kind of told me what I needed to know. I guess I know uh, how that is. <laughs> um, but we've been talking about uh, Awesome Con a little bit. There's like not even like a, there's not like a lid or anything. It's just kind of like there, I guess. Okay, sure. Sure, why not? And then I need some space here because there's like a big, like a tube that's like sticking out. And then also I guess I need the same thing over here. A tube. Okay, where do I start? <laughs> wow, I'm finally the favorite. Eat that silent film star from the 1920s, exactly. You made it, you're, you're working your way up. I don't think I know any other Rays. I mean, maybe I do and I'm like greatly insulting the other Ray Rays that I know, but I don't think I know any other Rays. I know a couple other uh, Griffiths. So we got little stickers and stuff here. And I guess this is a sticker. And the light, the headlights are these like, one of these squared off battery lights with like a, looks like some tape on it. I keep forgetting to watch the streams after school. That's okay. That's all right. Cause yeah, you can, you could watch them here on Twitch if you want. Um, the stream stay up for 90 days. And then I put it on my YouTube channel so you can watch it there if you'd like. S um, sometimes, sometimes audios get muted. Not, not often though, but sometimes there's like a Depending on what music track I played, someone will mute it, but you should be able to get most of it. Yeah, school. Yeah, school is indeed almost over. You just have uh, one more week. I know my son has one more week and then he's done. Okay, I think we're done drawing this one, so we can just color this up and consider this one done. Okay, so we need some grays. Yeah, I got next week and then uh, and then, my, okay, so you have you have one more full week, and then Monday. Yeah, my son has, uh, this week was his last full week. Next week he's got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. How about you, Ray? What's the kiddo? Is the kiddo home home now or still 
Still in school. I like this soundtrack. I like that whatever this is that we're listening to, I'm I'm digging it. Oh, for weeks, for weeks, he says. That checks out. We have to factor in all those snow days, Ray. Yeah, what is snow? So, um, let's see. What are some other things we could talk about, folks? So something else I, I started doing, maybe you noticed, maybe you didn't. Um, I, I saved out the 60-second art challenges, and those are now going up as, uh, like, you know, very short videos on social media. The uh, the Luigi one of all all of them, that one's really popping off on uh, TikTok right now. It's got like 500 views, and I'm like, this is not even like the really funny one. <laughs> this one's just me drawing Luigi's head. They took off eight days because kids have summer camp. Yeah, exactly. How has my dad been helping? Yeah, no, it's been good. It's been good. With the, uh, we got our new credit merchant services for running credit cards, which has been awesome. So let's see, what else? Oh, this part is like this little thing. Pocket Lego Man says, Ray, I'm not blind, I don't think, but when are you going to be streaming again? <laughs> uh, that was the most Napoleon Dynamite way of saying that. It has like 500 views. <laughs> well, I'm glad because it's like my favorite film. It's one of my favorite. I love that. I, Napoleon Dynamite is amazing. It's like a dollar an hour. Hawkeye, I haven't even drawn in, what, three months? Have you not drawn in three months? That's a shame, Ray. That's a shame. Can we all, can we get some Fs in the chat for Ray's art? Rip, rip for Razor. Big F, yes, Nick Lands, big oh, F. Hold it right there, doodle. Any last words? <laughs> is that what happened, Ray? Is that where your art went? You erased it all and it ran into a boulder. That's fine. That's okay. I'll be looking when you're ready. Yeah, every, we're all on the edge of our seat waiting for Ray to dive back in. Alas. But alas. Okay. Uh, Hmm, do I want to do anything else with this one? I mean, you can see through this. I think I'm gonna just leave it the way it is. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Do some little, little uh, minimal shading. All right, there we go. Cool. Thank you for that suggestion. 
Nick Land's art. And now I will be there when Mr. Figs. I love it. Mr. Figs. It's like Mr. Knight. Ray, you're like Mr. Knight. You said you wanted a suit. Latest gators. Alright, there we go. Let's look in the suggestion box. What do you guys got for me? Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What are we doing? Let me mark this as complete. Toe Mater. Well, I'm not going to do Mater because we just did Mater. I even have a sticker of Mater for sale right now. So we're not going to do Mater. But thank you for that suggestion, Hawkeye Lego Man. I'm going to mark that as... I'm actually going to mark that as complete because it is, it's complete fairly recently. Uh, let's see. That's done. Yeah, let's do the Mystery Machine. I haven't done the Mystery Machine in a bit. In a bit. It's actually been a while. What's up, Matt Elder? Exclamation point horse. So, Matt Elder, uh, on Twitter, DeviantArt did a tweet saying, uh, what, what do you hate drawing? And I replied with a horse gif. <laughs> I felt like it was appropriate. <laughs> it's a shit. No, it's not a shit. It's good. It was a good. It was a good doodle. I'm, I bet you anything. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I bet Hawkeye. I bet Toe. Uh, I bet you Mater's gonna show up in that slideshow. Bet. I bet. And my, my typical rule is I usually don't like to draw it again unless I think I can do a better job. <laughs> my dad's paying me $20 for cleaning my sister's room, so it will all go to your... Oh, well, thank you. Let's see, since the last time... I mean, I've added a lot of stuff since the last time, since February. There's been, like... A lot more stuff added. Uh, what do I want? Oh, Mystery Machine. Mystery Machine. Let's see, Mystery Machine. I think the last time I drew the Mystery Machine, it was for, oh my goodness, like my first Patre Patreon special? I think. It was a while ago. Uh, and as, as far as I remember, Maniac for Bricks asked for, it was my first Patreon special. So that would have been 20, uh, 19. I was waiting for him to be the literal next slide. Yeah, yeah you do. Stickers for the, they work great on water bottles. I've got, I've got them on my water bottle. My son has them on his water bottle. They will last. They will last you. Okay, we're doing this uh, like that. So how are you, Matt Elder? How is Matt Elder today? We were giving uh, Ray a hard time a moment ago because he's not streaming ever. <laughs> We did F's in the chat for Ray's art. F's in the chat for Ray's art. This is a very sad time. Lady Ginger Ninja, hello, hi. How's it going? Maybe I have to be a patron too. Well, hey, new patrons are always welcome. New patrons are always welcome. If you go to the $5 a month tier, You'll get a sticker mailed to you every month. Just saying. Just saying. That is a thing. So, 
So this month, um, I sent out Scream, the uh, ghost face mask. Uh, and Matt Elder, speaking of Matt Elder, Matt, are you, you're getting your stickers, right? No issues. They're making it over to the UK, no problem, right? I assume. I assume no news is good news, is what I always assume. Because I do mail them out every month for you. And it's no trouble. I just want to make sure you're, you're getting them. Because, you know, it's a little bit more of a, a journey. For... Hey, thank you, Pixel Keeper KS. Using that Prime sub. How's it going, buddy? Um, Matt Elder says, Tired and exhausted. Finally finished a Reno, pro a, a Reno project. Always long day. Yeah, of course. What's up, Pixel Keeper? How you doing? Your, uh, your booth was looking good the other day. Were you at like a... Like a like a brewery or something, right? Or am I just imagining that? Like you had your uh, art set up, uh, your art booth set up at like maybe it was a restaurant. I like first and then I read later. Uh, yep, got sticker during... Their, okay, cool, cool, good. Good. Most good. Most good. Akil says, then I will have it for five months. For 25 bucks. That's right, I can do math. Nice. Good, my guy. Figured I'd contribute to the PC. For, yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, it's called the Alvarium Brewery in New Britain. It was cool. Got Curse of the Bad Spot. Yeah, I mean, no matter what, right? It's like... There's always something, I swear. Like when you're at a show, you, you, it's like no matter what, you're gonna get put in a spot that's like not the best spot. No matter what, no matter what. Maybe it's just kind of like the grass is always greener kind of thing. Cause you're like, man, it would be nice if I was over here. But then it's like, those people are thinking the same thing. Cause I always feel like I'm in like not the greatest spot, but then I feel like I always think that. You know? Or am I making it up? Is this all in my own imagination? Matt Elder says, I open each month thinking I'll get a Kevin Wehrmeyer. In due time. In due time. In due time, Matt Elder. I did, I laughed out loud when you sent that wear dragon. I don't mind drawing dragons, Matt. I think that's when, I mean, I laughed. I was amused. But then the, the, the ploy to make me draw things I don't want to is lost because I don't mind drawing dragons. I'll draw as many dragons as you want. <laughs> I mean, half werewolf dragons, interesting, <laughs> but nonetheless. Uh, Akil says, when, when, when were you in South Windsor? Because I think I was on vacation. For February? Right? You're talking about shows. Because that was the last time I was in South Windsor. It was February. This doesn't have any, um... Doesn't have any mirrors. Is that right? This reference image I'm looking at has, like, no mirrors. Seems odd. Yeah, this is already definitely better than the last mystery machine I drew. What's up, Jay Freak? Hey. Hey, yourself. How you doing? I was thinking October will be the Kevin Wehrmeyer sticker. Hey, you know, never say never. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> oh, or do you live there? Okay, gotcha. Yeah, that would make it very convenient, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would make it very convenient. 
All right, this is all just, we're just gonna fill in this with black. Jayfreak says, doing well, just got off work, and time to enjoy some streams and doing some art. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I was talking earlier, I'm a little tired because I keep waking up really early. Like, I'm talking like 4, 4.30, 4 4.45, 5. I'm not trying to wake up that early, I just am. And I'm like, ugh. Ugh. I mean, part of me kind of likes that, like, I can do more things before everybody else gets up, but, like, not if I'm going to be exhausted. <laughs> you know? That's not my normal wake-up time. Like, I'm getting up before my alarm and stuff, and it's like, ugh. No, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> That's a perfect way to get into Crash, no mirrors. Yeah, I'm not seeing any mirrors on this reference, but maybe I'm just looking at a bad reference image. Yeah, that's a, consider I wake up around 6, 6, yeah, exactly. Like, my normal wake up time is like 6. Akil says, also, I mainly draw for personal and family, but some go on my channel. Nice, haven't posted in a while. That's all right, that's okay. As long as you're still doing it, you know? You gotta keep drawing, don't stop drawing. How's my pacing today? Am I drawing super slow? I feel like maybe I am. Not that it really matters. And yeah, you guys will see that J Freak has the 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 shiny new Twitch artist uh, badge that you can assign to folks. Ray has it as well. Funny Figs has it, like, but I mean, we just did an F in the chat for Ray's art, so it seems like a seems like a lie. Oh, Ray, I have to go fight with an insurance company. Be back. Yeah, no problem. See, let's talk about Ray while he's gone. That's that's what I love to do. <laughs> but yes, if you get a chance. Definitely check out J Freak. Uh, let's see, get a shout out real quick. Who also streams and also posts artwork on the internet. Always good to su support other artists. If you're an artist, you should support other artists. There's literally no reason not to. We all need a little help and it's great to have a good support system and not not being some kind of weird cutthroat competition. That's not what it's about. That's not what it's about, I'm telling you right now. It's not what it's about. Uh, we need a flower here. But yes, I wanted to make sure, I really like that feature that Twitch did where it's like you can assign the artist badge. You can only do five though, which is irritating to me, but I understand why. Because it's really designed for you to give attribution to and credit to people that help you with like your channel redeems and emotes and stuff if you're not an artist. But since I am an artist and I do all that myself, I want to give credit to some of the other artists I know. And a lot of you guys are artists. And so it's like, well, I ran out of those real quick. <clears throat> Thanks, yep, you're welcome. Definitely like supporting other artists and helping in whatever ways I can. Yeah, that's the way. Gotta leave and follow Jay Freak. Yes, this is the way, Akil. This is the way. All right, do a couple more little flowers here. You know, I'm thinking about it, and I think when I was reviewing the artwork from the, the 100 episodes to find ones to redraw, 
I am pretty sure one of the ones I was considering redrawing was the first Mystery Machine because it was like, eh, not very good. And then I opted out for something else. I can't, I can't remember. But I mean, we didn't even get to all the ones I, I had like set aside. So, because I had pulled 10 and I think we did what, like six or seven? It was fun though. I think we should do that again. What do you guys think? At some point we should go back and try to finish the redeems, the doodle redeems, fix some of those ugly ones. But I realized it wasn't uh, as interactive as normal. But, you know, I, I had a good time. All right, let's do some writing. The job is complete. Sweet. So we've got, it's like, this is gonna be tough. You guys ready for, for this? This is gonna be tough. I think I'm gonna start strong and then I'm gonna like not care as we go through this is what's gonna happen. I'm, I'm just calling it as it is. <laughs> uh, e gets smaller. R is even smaller and the Y is even tinier. Looks terrible. All right, let's move it because it's squished. Okay. Ibra Express, what are you doing here? Work sucked, but at least the mystery van is here for me. It is. Every 15 streams, do a filter stream. It sounds like filter feeding, like SpongeBob. <laughs> I'm a filter feeder. I feel like I need to do a better job at this. We're a hundred episodes in, right? Our doodles should be more refined at this point. Of course that defeats maybe the whole point, but no. The answer is no. Mystery. Yeah, I'm digging the soundtrack today. I'm like in a Blade Runner movie. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, okay. Of course it gets, oh, these are connected. These letters are connected together. I didn't realize that. Or maybe every 10. <laughs> It's almost been a year since I met you first. That's crazy. You know, that is wild. What is time though? What is time? I asked myself this, what is time? Okay, that's better. That's better. Let's move you here. And now we do the other half of this. M A C H I N Oh, you know what? Actually, hold on. Hold on. Let me finish this first. Let me do the E, which is all super stretched out. Everybody, all of you that are here. We need to do another shout out for the Ibra Express. Ibra Express needs to get affiliated. Like, has to happen. If you guys are not following Ibra Express, another amazing artist, highly entertaining. Highly entertaining. I'm, I'm to, comes with my personal recommendation. Highly entertaining. So make sure you follow Ibra Express for the true eyebrow expression. <laughs> you won't be disappointed, I promise you. You won't be disappointed. We gotta do what we can for the for the affiliation. 
No, why did I do that? I shouldn't do that. I should just move it. Why redraw it when I can just move it? Like, come on. What are we doing? What are we doing here? <laughs> Tears. Tears face. Yep, you do. You have to check out the Ivor Express. Don't hype me. Stop hyping me up. Don't do it. No. Mm -mm. No, no one accepts. This is my, uh, here's my part in the film when I'm in my little ship and I'm approaching this desolate apocalypse town in my science fiction ship as it flies. Okay, that's good enough, right? That's good enough. Oh, see, this one has mirrors. It's just the reference image I was looking at. It didn't have any mirrors on it. This one has mirrors, so we go here. That other one is uh, trying to promote traffic accidents. Okay, that's that's fine. What's up, Trekkie Ender Mom? Another uh, fantastic artist, unbeknownst to me, I did not know, I apologize. We got to share the canvas during uh, Ivor Express's most recent live stream. What is money and who decided it to be currency? Seriously, I don't know. Who knows? You wanna go back to like trading oriental rugs and salts, <laughs> spices? Hey, you want to buy some spices? No, don't make me look good in front of your lovely audience. No. <laughs> okay, this is like a... What color do we want? What color do we want? I think this color. Is it too bright? Nah, it's never too bright. Rule number one with Kevin art is it's never too bright. I am all about bright. But see, that's my weakness. That's my strength and that's my weakness. Because if I need to do like, moody, right? Like moody artwork, I can't do it. It's, it's all gonna be bright all the time. You know, I also struggle with lighting. Like if it's not just naturally fully lit, I can't. I'm like, what do you, what do you want me to do? How do, how do I do this? It is beautiful, Gray Van. Thank you very much. That sounds like you are a a drug. <laughs> it's like Star Wars, though, right? Hey, you want to buy some death sticks? <laughs> You don't want to sell me death sticks. You want to go home and think about your life. I'm flattered, but I'm more of a 3D artist, not a 2D. Those were awesome. Don't sell yourself short. Nonsense. Those were fun. Those were really, really fun. They were fun little little drawings. Uh, green. Green? It is green, isn't it? Or is it yellow? It's like more yellow than it is green. That's fine, we'll just do that. Wanna buy some spices? <laughs> Your cartooning is so exp Exactly, exactly. Get out of here with this. Get out of here with this. I'll have to come up with a darker shade for this in a second because this side of the van is in shadow. action here. More spices. <laughs> I 
Okay, before I lose this color, because I'm gonna literally draw over it again, I should, yeah, this side will be the, the side in the light. As always, I appreciate all of you guys being here, spending some time with me, especially after I was off the air, as it were, for two weeks. Two weeks in internet time is like a century. And you know what's ironic is I started the Tuesday streams during the afternoon. Um, for, you know, as per usual, for a couple different reasons. But one of the reasons is that the Friday streams, um, they're pretty consistent, but not as, they're not like perfectly consistent. But I was trying to add something else to the schedule so that, you know, you could be guaranteed that I would be live streaming every week. Didn't necessarily mean that um, it was going to be both Friday and Tuesday, but I would be live streaming every week. And, of course, so I started this, right? And then I've had things happen to prevent me from doing the Tuesdays for a couple weeks now, too. Like car troubles, being out of the house, running a bunch of errands and stuff, just not being in a, a good logistical spot to do it. So that plan didn't necessarily work for the last couple weeks. But I have all intentions of continuing to do that Tuesday live stream. Bubble of O, what's up? I got paprika, chili powder. Like so. uh, 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 yes. What's up, Bubble of O? That's our new panda alert. That's uh, in honor of Polish Panda and her $50 donation to the computer fund. Your streams are a chill pleasure. Well, thank you. I'm glad to hear that. Jay Freak says, yeah, I hop on those Tuesday streams mainly to lurk in the background because I'm slow. No, that's all right. It's all good. I like them because it is a very different vibe for me, even from this, from the Friday show, you know? Panda alert. What? Yes. Polish Panda. Another uh, regular here on the stream. Did a $50 donation to the computer fund. And uh, made a joke saying, well, now you need to give me a panda alert. And I'm like, no, you're right. I absolutely need to give you a panda alert. So that is the panda alert. Anybody can use the panda alert. It'll cost you 200 exposure bucks but that is uh, in honor of Polish Panda and her amazing generosity. And we are still actively collecting funds. I am still shaking my proverbial tin can, as it were, um, to get a new machine because this one is reaching, you know, the end of the line. It has served me very, very well, but it's, uh, it's also been used heavily, continues to be used heavily every day and it struggles. It's starting to struggle more and more, and it especially has trouble with live streams. So, if you like this, you enjoy it, a donation would be sweet. Of course, not required, but it would help. You could also just buy stuff. <laughs> I have lots of products in my store. I literally just had to count them all. I had to do inventory which I hate doing. Counting inventory is not fun at all, especially when you have stickers and you have 300 different uh, designs. Till I show up. Till you show up where? <laughs> Akil's gonna show up to your streams. 
a chaotic person. I like all caps. Yep, Panda MVP, yep. Yes. Yes. Thank you for the uh, Panda alert, Hawkeye Lego Man. How many points? How many uh, exposure bucks do you have? Are you loaded? Are you rich? You must have done a lot of commissions for all, that much exposure money. How do you do it? How does he do it? Do you have a sticker for the power line? I don't. Unfortunately, I don't. Not yet. Not yet, at least. I mean, that's the thing, is I can always dive in there and pull more doodles for stickers. I have 70 doodle designs currently as stickers, which is a lot. Um, but I also have like 2,000 doodles. <laughs> so not everything has made the cut in sticker form. But I will be doing a reorder soon. And then I, I usually throw in a couple new designs from the assortment. That is, that is a lot of stickers. That's 70 of the doodle designs. I have 114 of the, like, the larger portrait stickers that I, like, put a lot of time into. I have a lot of stickers. I have a lot of products. The best way to get money is illegally selling spices and rugs from the side of the highway. Yes. You know, that's fair. I should try that. Hey, you want to buy some death sticks? <laughs> All right, let's. I feel like I'm at like you guys that are here all day. Am I drawing slower than normal? I don't know. It's fine. I need to stop worrying about it. That's that's what I need to do. I just need to stop worrying about it. You know what I'm saying? I need to stop worrying about it, because it doesn't matter. Why did, oh. Holy cow, indeed. Holy cow, indeed. Hello there. Uh, oh my goodness, I remember seeing this name last time, and I think I ruined it last time, didn't I? Uh, Geoia Bear? Hi, hello again. The Mirthmobile from Wayne's World, nice. Throw that in the suggestion box for me. And and welcome back. So good to see you. Take your child to hold the sign, they will be more empathetic. Yeah, it's true. This is true. You know all the tricks. Joya Bear, there you go. Thank you. Yes, good to see you again. It just looks more intimidating than, <laughs> than it is. <laughs> We're just here spending an hour drawing a mystery machine. It's all good. I think I mentioned uh, a couple weeks ago, maybe on t on the Tuesday, like two weeks ago. I mentioned that I had a, a fun announcement for in relation to the doodle stream, but I still cannot share it yet, so I'm sorry. It is exciting though, and I'm excited. When I when I can, I will. But I don't want you to think I forgot. I did not forget. I just want to wait a little bit longer to firm up some details, as we say in the biz.
and thus will buy more spices, rugs, and death sticks. Thank you, that blue on the bumper was itchy, was it? Yes. I should probably do, yeah, it would be a little bit in, in the light here. And let's do, we're almost done with this one. Don't worry. I'm sure people are done looking at the mystery machine. Don't ask me how I know these tricks. It is good, and also, completing anything on a stream is a lot. That's fair. Okay. So we need to do the racks on the top. These are also like the silver. And then we need to do the, uh, we need to throw something on the inside. So I'm just gonna do, I'll do this dark blue color that I put down there on the bottom. Is this sufficient? I guess let me do the little uh, handle. There we go, it's, it's enough, it's fine, it's done. Definitely much better mystery machine than the last time I drew the mystery machine. And that is the goal. If I'm gonna do it again, it needs to be better. The Java sail bar just hit me in the head. I have whispered you something. What did you whisper me? Oh, this is <laughs> this is how I know the tricks from experience. I like so. Thank you very much for the follow, Gorilla of the Family. I laugh every time I'm the panda alert, I laugh every time. I think it's fine. All right. I don't get tired of things easily, like a lot of folks do. Uh, that's done, that's done, that's done. All right, let's see, let's... Oh yeah, the, um, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle pizza thrower. That seems like a fun one to do. That one's really colorful too. Right, the pizza thrower van thing? Or are you talking about this like tank thing? What is this? Maybe that's not at all what I thought. It's like a TMNT pizza thrower. It's like a tank. <coughs> Where's my, did I bring my water? Oh, of course I didn't. Why would I do that? Does a horse count as a vehicle? You. You want to know what you can do with that horse suggestion. <laughs> you can do exclamation point horse and keep track of how many times <laughs> you're asking me to draw horses. Uh, thank you, Nick Lands. Nick Lands does not stream, but you guys should follow Nick Lands on social media. Another awesome artist out there on the con circuit with me, traveling, traveling the country, traveling these here United States of America selling our artwork. So the pizza thrower is like a, it's like a tank thing. I was thinking it was like the van, right? They have a van. I'm not imagining that. This thing is weird. I don't... Hmm, I don't think I'm gonna draw it. This one's like too weird. Sorry, Steve. It's too complicated. It's too funky. Oh, but three people want me to draw that too. Ah, fine, I'll do it. I'll listen to the people. The people 
We, we are in a democracy. <laughs> oh no. But it has to be from pop culture. What pop culture carriage is there? Come on now. <laughs> evil. The evil, evil face. All right, I'm gonna draw this thing. This is very complicated. This one might take me a little bit. More so than the, uh, more so than the mystery machine took me. I need a good angle of this thing. Okay, this is a good angle. So, we got our tube on the top for pizzas. I'm drawing this based on the toy, but I'm assuming the toy is based on the cartoon. Right? Isn't that a logical assumption? I don't know if you're still hanging around, Steve. Steve, toss that into the uh, suggestion box. Okay, this is, it's kind of like a tank. And it's, like I was saying earlier, I didn't think, when I saw that suggestion, I was thinking like their van. And this is very much not a van. It's like a tank. All right, I'm just kind of trying to get some kind of structure to this. It's kind of difficult. Cinderella's kid, why are you crowdsourcing a way to torture me? Can we not? How about we don't do that? How about, how about we don't do that? <laughs> the Hinkle democracy and government we run by our own rules, art. <laughs> art. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it is kind of a little bit, right? See, even this doesn't really help me because that's not really how it looks. It's not even like really boxy. So we have this going on with some like little rivets and then yeah see I was trying to help myself out with this construction box and that's not gonna help me so I go like this this kind of jets out a little bit like that and then there's this action it's not long enough it's got to be longer on this side so we do like this. This is gonna, I'm gonna be drawing this the whole time and you're gonna have no idea what it is until it's actually done because it's so weird. Okay. We gotta do a step ladder. Listen. I'm listening. What do you wanna tell me? Who used that? <laughs> I should, where is that thing? Where is the uh, sound alert? Oh, why is it down there? You go up here, go to the top. There you go. Uh, Akil wanted me to listen, I'm listening. I'm listening, I'm all ears. Okay. No. That's a childhood favorite of mine. Do you guys recognize that? Who who recognizes that sound clip? Who recognizes that sound clip? I wanna I wanna know. Tell me where it's from. The oh no. And we got some warning language on this little sticker here. I need to make sure I draw a pizza in here. <laughs> There's gotta be a pizza inside. That's the point. This is the, here's the crust and the, uh... yes, there's a pizza in there. Guys, there's a pizza in there. There's multiple pizzas actually. 
Uh, we've got like a thing here. It's like a, it's like a, it's got like a sight. You can kind of guide where you wanna, I guess, fire. And we've got some handles, handlebars. Okay, uh, we get real complicated over here. Hawkeye Lego Man says, all I can think of is Mr. Krabs. See, you guys don't know where that sound is from. That's classic, that is my childhood. It is art related too. It is art related. It was one of the first ways I could be artistic on the computer in my whole life. Okay, we got something going on over here. Some of this I'm just making up because it's very convoluted. We got a little step intake thing. We've got these like pipes on the front that are doing some kind of action. And we've got all kinds of doodads and little stuff sticking off. Pipes. So that sound, I take the uh, silence as nobody knows. That oh no is from a old computer game called Kid Picks. Kid Picks, which was a, a, a game that you could use to draw. You could draw, you could do like very simple little animation stuff, but it was like the first time ever for me as a kid using the computer to do any type of artwork at all. And the oh no was like the undo button sound. So if you were like, oh, I didn't like that. I didn't mean to do that. You press the oh no and it would go away. That's your undo sound. I did. I did say it in another stream, you're right. See, those paying attention, they know. So we got this like seat. This is like, I guess this is, it like, I don't know what this is, like an oven, right? And this is like the, it's like a metal cover for the onion. Uh, onion? For the onion! For the oven. So I guess the pizzas go down and they get cooked and they come out and they fire this way? I'm just guessing. Please enlighten us. Tell us your ways. But it's like a tank. So then it's got like a second half and this rotates independently from the first half. So we got this action going on here. And this, we've got some, ch some chonky wheels. These wheels are not going to be black, so I can't really cheat. I gotta kind of draw them, actually. Sometimes I just kind of, you know, it doesn't matter what's details in there because it's all going to get filled in with black, really. Mr. Inkland, 2050. Drawing the Death Star at 3 a.m. Not clickbait. Gone wrong. Will it give me views? Will I make money? <laughs> I like to make money. I like to provide. Man, we got a lot of 
greebling and all kinds of little things going on in this. It's like, this is why I was like, eh, I don't think I'm gonna do it. But then the people, you guys, voted against me. <laughs> Use a democratic process. And you're like, no, no, you're gonna do this very complicated thing. It is very common. A lot of this I'm making up. Like, I'm just... It's so... It's too much. I'm just like, yeah, a line here, a line there. It looks great. See, it's perfect. Probably from small children. That's fine. I'm an equal opportunity. Nah, I'm not gonna do that on this one, I don't think. I could just hit undo, but I didn't. So what did we learn? <laughs> Alright, let's just color this. Let's just color this thing. If you've got a suggestion, throw it into the suggestion box because I will be looking very soon for the next thing. Uh, my dad made a YouTube channel of just home videos. He made it in 2008. My YouTube channel, not the one I use right now, not the one I use right now, but my first YouTube channel, I started in 2005 when I was in college because that is where we would post our animation uh, videos for like family to see. And then I started my freelance business and I figured I should switch all my branding to be the same, which I do recommend. I know it's a pain. I know it's a pain. I know it's a pain. But if you are starting off or if you're kind of still early on into the process of being a freelance artist and you're trying to sell yourself and trying to get all that stuff going, brand consistency as, as many places as you can. I know it's not the best if you're like, oh, well this one place I have a different username than I have it. No, 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 everything should be aligned. You should have the same username everywhere. If you can avoid it, no dots, no spaces, no, just same username everywhere. If you can, I know it's not, like sometimes it's just not gonna happen, but if you can, really try to get everything on the same same thing. So that's why I, re I started a new channel. And there's a random video of a random guy who is good at DDR at an arcade and it has one million views from the reason. That's wild. Yeah, my, on my old channel that you can't see anymore, I think the, the best performing video was just a, a video I took of a, like a train show at a mall and it had like 25,000 views. Okay, most of this is green. Like I said, this is based on a toy, so I'm pretty sure it's maybe a little bit more detailed. The wheels are gray. And then we've got like this yellow Yeah, people still watch and comment. Yeah, of course they do. Of course they do. You know, sometimes it's just about being in the right place at the right time. You know, it's like some of these folks that jumped on TikTok right at the beginning. And I mean, it's still, I think, 
a little easier to build a following there than it is on some of the other places because it's still so new. But being in the right place at the right time makes a difference. Um, we got like a red sticker here. Bubba Laveau says, I missed the update. How was your trip to visit us down here in DC? It was great. It was a, uh, so I was at an event called Awesome Con, which is a big one. It is one of the biggest. Uh, I think it's like top 10 for the country, as far as I can determine. And it was absolutely a record breaker for me. So I, I finally crossed my thousand, my thousand dollar threshold, which I've been actively trying to hit for as long as I've been doing this. So spoiler alert for anybody who's trying to make it as an artist, it's not easy. Um, and I've been to over 20 events, three and a half years, and never made more than a thousand dollars at a show and so that was my first show to make over a thousand dollars so i was incredibly incredibly excited it was a three-day show but it's uh it's like eight hours to get there so i drove down i drove down on thursday night and stayed with a buddy who lives in maryland which was really really generous with his home and he helped me with the show on Friday, setting up and then working it uh, Friday and Saturday. And then I kind of switched over to another friend and uh, stayed with them. And they helped me out on Sunday and then helped me tear down. And it was great. It, it really, really was an awesome, awesome event. I'd love to do it again. I'm hoping they will have me back again. It's not a guarantee because um, it is a, a rather large event. So it's like... They create the artist so you can apply and, you know, hope for the best. So I would love to go back if they'll, if they'll have me back again. And yeah, if you have any specific questions, feel free to let me know. Um, the, uh, the doodle stickers were definitely the, the winners, as they usually are. I usually sell more doodle stickers than I sell anything else. Um, so that's the little $2 stickers. I have these in my shop too. So if anybody, if anybody's interested, exclamation point shop. I do have a shop where I sell most of my stuff there. Um, I sold over 300 of the doodle stickers over the weekend. It's a lot. Goddess of D's. Pop culture. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Diana's here, what is up, how are you? Akil says, pizza time. When will your next regular vehicle stream be? Because I want a free candy white van, jeez. <laughs> I don't know, it's up to the patrons. The patrons pick the themes. I don't think there's another, I remember skimming it and I don't think there was another vehicles anytime soon. I could be wrong, I could be wrong, I don't, I don't know. Okay, that's our pizza, that is our pizza thrower wagon. It's like a tank. Oh, well, never mind. You know, I was gonna do something. Now I'm not gonna do that thing. <laughs> so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have been challenged. I have been given a 60 second drawing challenge by Goddess of D's, right? Goddess of D's redeemed this. Yes. Yes, she did. <laughs> okay, if you're unfamiliar, if you save up your exposure bucks, which is what you get for watching me here on Twitch, you can give me a 60 second drawing challenge. It's usually not fun for me, but highly entertaining for you. <laughs> and you can tell me to draw whatever you want but I only have 60 seconds to draw it. 
So I'm going to get a reference image. So you want a unicorn. Of course you do. Of course you want a unicorn. All right, let's, let's see here. It's going to be bad. I just want you to know it's going to be bad. All right, unicorn. <laughs> Oh, you only have you only have fifteen thousand left. <laughs> to be fair, it could be a unicorn like in the minions, or it it's a goat with one horn. I'm gonna do the most cartoony unicorn I can, because I'm gonna give myself an advantage. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna do this one. This is more like a Pegasus, but okay, whatever. I got my image. The music is paused because for dramatic effect. This is the unicorn I found. This is what I have 60 seconds to draw. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Everything, everything will be fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate Hawkeye. Unfortunately, it is tied to mods only. And I, as far as I know, I have no mods right now. I think I think everybody's away and that's okay. I'll have to do it myself. It makes it a little tricky, but that's okay. I can do it for you guys. So okay, I'm 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 mentally preparing myself. <laughs> I'm mentally preparing myself for this. Here's my reference image. Let me kind of get stuff as lined up as as good as I can. Okay. All right. Are you guys ready? Of course, I already messed up. I don't even know how much time I have. No, 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 wait, 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 no, but wait though. But wait, but wait, but wait. Okay, if we just do this, if we just, if we just do, there, it's fine. It's beautiful. What it is, is beautiful. <laughs> well, it happened. It occurred. <laughs> Having to like throw the, t see, I had to start the timer and then the screen was like, I had to re-click on the screen to get it to, yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm just making excuses. Don't worry about me. <laughs> so that's what I drew in 60 seconds. I'm, a, I'm what we call a professional. This is awesome. Don't lie to me. Thank you for, thank you for the, thank you for redeeming the uh, 60 second drawing challenge. It is appreciated. It is appreciated. I will save this this is gonna go on a separate canvas. I have a special canvas. And I'm also gonna save out the video because content. So that'll go on social media too. I've been posting those on like TikTok and Instagram and stuff. I love it. I love it every time. It does not bother me in the slightest. 
I am the one and only child here. Perhaps. The Spider-Man meme doesn't look so bad now. <laughs> that panda alert is awesome. And the person that it's in celebration of still has not shown. <laughs> panda has not arrived. Even though we've, we've uh, summoned her with the alert multiple times. All right, I'm gonna switch the pizza thrower as done. Uh, so let's see, Bubble of O suggested the Munster's Coach. I'm not gonna do that one because I did do that one on the vehicle stream. Um, and I thought that one came out pretty good. I even did a separate 60 second video on my YouTube channel of just the Munster's Coach. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna mark that as complete because I don't think I can do it better than I did it last time. Um, let's see. Oh, we should do the Batmobile. We should do the Batmobile. Can I do my favorite Batmobile though? My favorite Batmobile is the Batman Animated Series. That's my favorite Batmobile. I'm gonna, can I take the administrative decision to do that? It is a Batmobile. All right, sure, I got the approval. All right, Batman, that one's my favorite Batmobile. Batmobile's a great suggestion, though. All right. Yes, this is the one. This is the one. I hope that uh, unicorn challenge was very entertaining. Were you guys entertained? I was stressed. See, the thing is, that e when it, the easier it looks, the harder it is, I swear. I swear the harder it is. To all my artist friends, you guys don't even know. Try drawing something in 60 seconds. Try drawing something in 60 seconds. You don't even know. You don't even... You don't even know. <laughs> Although, I'll have to admit, I remember giving uh, Eyebrow Express one of the shapes, when I was doing the shape challenge, I'm like, here, what would you draw in this shape? And it was the most complicated shape. It was Ray's shape. He gave me this super complicated shape. And Eyebrow Express is just like, oh, you mean these comfortable characters sitting on this couch together? I'm like, get out of here. You weren't supposed to do better than me. You were supposed to struggle at it. <laughs> the, you were supposed to validate my struggle. You were not supposed to shame me. That was not the desired outcome. We must, we must try this again. <laughs> Surprised no one did it yet. What the, uh, the, the challenge? They don't happen too often actually. To be honest, they don't. They don't happen too often. I understand they cost a lot of exposure. And you know, this is why it's so difficult to be an artist. Because what are you gonna do with your exposure? Right? It's like, you gotta be really careful. You gotta save up that, save the exposure money up. You got bills to pay. I wish I could stream, but I never have time. And I don't show my voice. Yeah, I mean, you can stream without voice, but I don't think it's as entertaining. That's just my personal opinion. I don't, certainly don't uh, fault anybody who streams without any voice. But it's just for me, it's not as good of a uh, live streaming experience as a viewer for me if I can't hear you but it's okay, I understand. And that's just me. I am but one person. Like, I don't mind if you don't have a camera on. I don't ever have a camera on, but I would like to hear you talk. <laughs> Unless you're like really responsive. If you're really responsive on chat, then it's okay. 
but I think most people aren't. If they're not, if they're not going to do voice and they just like do chat, sometimes they're not super responsive. And that's the point of live streaming is to like engage with an audience. Otherwise you just don't live, you don't do it live. So you kind of have to, you know, be a little bit cognizant of who's there and what they're doing. J Freak says, save, save for all that exposure. Super important. It is. Very important. I stream without voice sometimes. I just balance it out by being more active. Yeah, exactly. If you can like be super active in chat and make sure people are feeling welcome or they're answering their questions and stuff, then it doesn't matter. But yeah, I think most times I've popped into other people's streams where they're not on voice. They, they're not super active in the chat. have no microphone camera or laptop or PC or gaming console or space or a lot of art supplies or any skills <laughs> you know <laughs> that I can understand that does change things let's make things slightly more complicated slight just slightly though just slightly just just slightly though Okay, so we gotta go like this, and like this. Uh, let's see. That would make it a little difficult. Yes, yes it would. Bola Vos says, you too can stream on a potato. Let Kevin tell you how. Hey, it wasn't a potato in uh, three years ago. It's not a potato. There's far worse. It's just reached the end of its life. It's, it's, it's reached its maximum potential. And now I must transcend. I must transcend now. It has served me very well for many years. Okay, we got the... Uh, I feel like it should be even further back, actually. So maybe like here? All the way back here? All my YouTube videos are filmed on an iPad on the floor in my room and edited with CapCut. That's fine. You do what you gotta do with what you got. That's what I do. I do what I do with what I got. Until you got something else. You know? Could film on an eggplant. <laughs> could you? It's great. I'm gonna film my videos on eggplants. <laughs> Just reminded me of that uh, crossover episode I did with Brian back in February, and we did that like eggplant video game character. <laughs> it's like, who is this? Ooh. 
Ooh, my drawing. Okay, there's our Batman the Animated Series Batmobile. And you will be very stunned to know it is mostly black and very dark gray. <laughs> stunned. I know. You'll be shocked. Shocked to hear. But I have a drawing tablet I can steal from my brother. Eggplant Wizard is a classic video game. What game is that from again? Because that was your suggestion, wasn't it? The Eggplant Wizard. Is that like a Kid Icarus villain? Okay, actually, this... Sh I don't like how this sticks out like that. It should be... It should get tapered in more. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It's all fine. Everything's fine. Ah, I guessed right. Kid Icarus. Did you watch The Batman? I did. I did watch The Batman. I enjoyed it. It didn't change my life, but I enjoyed it. Like The Dark Knight, Christian Bale, Heath Ledger, that movie changed my life. Not even kidding. It's one of my favorite films of all time. Of all time. Not just like comic hero movies, like one of my favorite films of all time. There's a lot to love about that movie. Okay, and now we got some little silver bits like this in the front and the tires. My brother saw it in theaters and told my parents it was too violent. Um, yeah, I guess so. I'm trying to think. I don't really... I'm trying to remember. I don't think it was, like, crazy violent. <coughs> Honestly, I can't remember. I can't remember if there was anything, like, crazy violent. But I guess there was. <laughs> I guess there was something in there. All right, there's our Batman the Animated Series Batmobile, my favorite Batmobile. We're in our last hour, folks. <laughs> that unicorn hanging out up there. Uh, but apparently just enough. Just enough. I think it was the scene where the Riddler kills and duct tapes the mayor's head. Yeah, I can't really remember. I guess that's how impactful that movie was. All right, let's go back to the suggestion box. I don't have a lot of suggestion, folks. Pull the lever crock. That is not a vehicle. <laughs> that is not a vehicle, Hawkeye Lego -like Man. That is a bit. That is a bit in a scene. Uh, let's see. Lady Ginger Ninja. My husband suggests the Ectomobile and X Wing. Well, we've got Star Wars on here already. But Ectomobile sounds like it might be a good one. I have a suggestion you're ignoring. The, the Monsters Coach? Or the Dragula. Let's see. We're gonna do Ectomobile now. 
I definitely have drawn the Ectomobile before, but I'm not at a place where I'm like, I think I've drawn the best I can draw. I'm not at that place with the Ectomobile. So I'm willing to give it another shot. Oh man, the burger car from Spongebob. Man. Last time I drew that was like in the first 10 episodes. Like episode 3. Like 3 years ago was like the last time I drew the burger car. I That was another one of those that I had on the list to redraw and then I bumped it for something else. Okay, let's do this. How do we want to do this? Okay, this should come out more like that. I'm trying to get some kind of structure going on here. This should probably be a little bigger. Something like this. Yeah, the, yeah, I saw it, the suggestion. That's why I mentioned that, the burger car. Well, this your first time watching it from beginning to end. Now oh, that's awesome. Have you never watched a full live episode? I am honored, you have honored me today. If you can make it, 50 more minutes. Your first time anywhere, ever, in existence. Oh, that's a big deal. Again, you honor me. Thank you for bestowing your time to me. Okay, something is off about this. Let's, let's just maybe, no. No. Like it kinda needs to be Longer, maybe tilt it down a little bit more. See, that's not stuff you can do in the traditional world. <laughs> So I was talking to another artist at AwesomeCon and we were talking about Working Artist Alley, right? Working Artist Alley, how do you do it? And what are some of the things you gotta, you know, get through? And I had mentioned that if you choose to do commissions there, which I think you should, if you can, I think you should. Um, I know that not everybody does that or is comfortable doing that or they work traditionally or whatever, but it's a, I think it's a good source of income because, you know, you could have your $5 stickers or whatever, but then if you get like an $80 commission, that's a big deal. That is a significant amount of money. But you have to have the ability to pr do it. And so I was talking about how when I do traditional commissions at a show, you definitely have to get over the whole... Um, perfectionist mindset because people are not going to wait all day for you to figure it out so you have to like get over that it doesn't mean you don't make it look the best you possibly can but like you have to you got to you got to go <laughs> you know what I'm saying like you got to go you got to give people their artwork and so you make it look absolutely as good as you can and then you move on you go to the next the next thing Deliver it. Uh, which suggestion is this? Hmm. 
No spoilers? Oh, Miss Marvel. Okay. No, I have not. I have not watched it yet. Um, I plan to. I plan to watch it. I was just, like, not super jazzed. Like, I don't know. It's the same thing with Moon Knight. It's like, I'll watch it because I'm invested in this universe, but I'm like, eh. All right. Let's watch it, I guess. Like, I'm not super excited. Like, it's not on the, my list of things to do right away. I am having some difficulty with the shaping of this vehicle. Uh, so we're drawing the Ecto, Ectomobile, Ghostbusters. Slightly struggling. Slightly struggling to make it look good. I got some weird, I got some weird shaping uh, issues going on. Don't worry, we'll, we'll get it, we'll figure it out. Did you watch Afterlife? I did. I did watch Afterlife. I, I enjoyed it. The one, like, my my thing with Ghostbusters is there is a lot of love for the first Ghostbusters, and I feel like a lot of times they, for, or they ignore the fact about the second Ghostbusters, and I, my hot take opinion, I enjoyed Ghostbusters 2 more than I enjoyed Ghostbusters 1. A lot more. And it doesn't mean I didn't enjoy the first Ghostbusters. It had to exist so that there could be a second Ghostbusters. But it's like, I don't know. I always get kind of irked. Like with the video game, which was great. But it's another one of those like, we're just going to imagine Ghostbusters 2 never happened. And it's all Gozer, and it's all back to Keymaster and Gatekeeper, and like, yeah, but we've done this already. I don't understand. Why do we keep going back to this? So that was my only, like, gripe, is I was like, ah, back again to Gozer, and back again to Keymaster, and back again to... Here we go. Not that I want to, like, have it be about... Vigo the Carpathian. But it's just like... I don't know. It's just like we're stuck. We're stuck there with Gozer. It's like, we already took care of Gozer. Stop, stop talking about Gozer. <laughs> Next time somebody asks you if you're a god, Ray, you say yes. got the uh, big ol' headlights. Um, so we need to do, there's like these little cone, little cone things going on there. And then we can go across. Like the grill. Uh, I'm asking everyone in chat what their favorite video game. I think it is weird that Slimer wasn't in it. Yeah, well. Oh yeah, Slimer wasn't in it. They had that other one. What, Muncher or whatever? I'm like, all right. <laughs> I, like I didn't dislike the movie. I was just like, eh, all right.
Like, don't get me wrong. I absolutely did not dislike the movie. I was just like, meh, alright. So this should probably go up a little bit more to match. How are we looking? Is it looking better? I don't know how I feel about this. We may we may have to put the Ectomobile back on the uh, the potential list to do again in the future. I'm not done with it yet, but I don't know how I don't know if I'm satisfied. So this I feel like should get pushed back to like uh, maybe there. Uh, at least they didn't go to the gender bent version. I haven't seen that one. Well, that one is interesting too. The 2016 Ghostbusters because I mean I I think I share a similar feeling that a lot of others do, but like. I had absolutely no problems whatsoever with the female cast. I thought they were all like really great comedians and like their performances was great. I thought I, I enjoyed that fact. The thing that bothered me is that I didn't want to reboot. <laughs> I was fully going in expecting these to be like children or grandchildren or related somehow to, um, the, to, the, to the main cast, right? That's what I expected. And then when it was like me, like my disappointment in the theater when it was revealed that it was a, like when I'm sitting here in real time watching it and then they're like acting as though this is never, I'm like, oh no, this is a reboot. And then when you start to see the cast, you know, Bill, Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd and they are not, they're not who they are supposed to be. They're just cameos. You're like, oh no, oh no. Like, I remember in real time, I'm like, this is a reboot. I'm not happy. I, that's all. I just didn't want to reboot. I think the folks that got all bent out of shape because it was a female cast, those are the folks that need to work on some other personal issues. <laughs> because eh, you didn't get over that. Stupid. I just didn't, I just didn't want to reboot. That's, that's it, I just didn't want to reboot. I wanted a continuation, not, not a, a reboot. And that's what I didn't like about it. But like the effects and stuff, I didn't think they were that bad. Didn't, didn't bother me. It was like a, a fine spectacle. Which, that's what it is. Spectacle. Whenever you say something, something, from that thing shows up on the doodles of fame, like when you were talking about Batman, Joker showed up, and now Marshmallow, oh, look at that. It's like, I'm in tune. In Afterlife, they did a tribute to the dead Ghostbuster in the middle of the movie, which was cool. Yeah, no, I totally agree. And I was very uh, surprised at the uh, CGI. Like, it, they, it looked great. I was very impressed. So maybe this might be ruining it, but let me see. I feel like it maybe needs to get squished a little. Yeah, yeah, I think, yes. Right, that looks better. We got a little connection issues here, we can fix it. I'm a f I think I'm gonna fill in with uh, with black, like I did with the mystery machine. I think I'll do that again.
I can hear this. Can you guys hear the, can you hear the siren in your head? I can, I can hear it. Yeah, and the fact that they were willing to do it in the middle of the movie was a great move. I suppose I could tell it was a reboot, something that wouldn't affect the, the already made story. I'm at 1.5 thousand exposure bucks. Look at that. Think about how many commissions you would have had to do to get that much exposure bucks. How much work as an artist you would have to have done. Just imagine. Just imagine the amount of work it would have taken to earn that much exposure. See, Jay Freak knows. Jay Freak knows, that's a lot of work. A thousand exposure bucks, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of commissions. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I'm sorry. I work for exposure. <laughs> oh, oh. All right, let's color this. I think I like it more now than I did before. I can't even possibly sell. <laughs> you don't, no, come on. You don't know that. You don't know. You never know till you try. Keep that in mind. You never know until you try. Uh, time to start adding those high ticket exposure bucks items. Is it? Yeah, because I have a couple more challenges. Like switch to your non-dominant hand is one. And I was actually going to set that up. I was in the process of setting it up for the 100 episode. And I said, I don't really want to do that during this. I want these to be like nice. <laughs> So I don't want to do that. That seems like a bad call. So then I stopped and backed out of it. But they weren't necessarily going to cost more than like the current challenges. There would just be more of them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Hawkeye Lego Man says, by the way, I made final agreements for my first official client's logo the other day. Well, congratulations. I hope you get as much exposure as you deserve. Maybe even real money. I, I don't know. I don't want to count my chickens before they're hatched. But real money would be nice too. Oh, you gotta go? <laughs> it's alright. You can go. You almost made it. 40 more minutes though. You had a valiant effort. But I won't. <laughs> I gotta go, but I will not leave. There's something about the Ecto-1 siren, which is super cool. Like, I love the sound effect of it, but when it like powers off or like it dies, it's like meow. Like that's what makes it. I love it. Like whenever you're at a, sh a show or like any type of, you know, Comic-Con and they have the Ecto and it has that sound, it's so funny. It's so funny when it does it. I have gotten permission to to watch while eating. Look at that! So you're gonna make it? You're gonna stick stick it out to the very end. All right, we're gonna color all this stuff gray up here. Hawkeye Lego Man says I got decently paid, very generous, and willing to do the dollar per hour. Very nice. 
Yeah, I haven't done too many jobs where it's by hour. I mean, some people ask, like, do you have an hourly rate? It's usually when you're, like, with a company. Like, if you're actually working with a legit organization, they usually want your hourly rate, and it's all, like, complicated. But, I mean, it is what it is. You're dealing with a big company, but they want hourly rate, and they want, like, an official invoice, and they got to send it to their finance department, and then they have to sit on it for a few months and not pay you, and then act, like, all surprised when you're like, hey, you haven't paid me. That's usually how that goes. Not like the criminals you normally work for, exactly. Exactly. Not the normal criminals. Classy. Classy. <laughs> Are you still being a good egg, uh, Bubble of O over in the Eyebrow Express? You still like the star child of the class? <laughs> It's great. I do like this music. I'm, di I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Maybe we should go a little darker for the tires. I just did payment whenever we met. You should work with the cops to draw wanted posters. Oh man, I probably wouldn't be any good at that. Like that's amazing. The uh, sketch sketch artists that like do, that's great. I don't think I'd be good at that. They'd all be cartoons. <laughs> you know? And that's okay, that's my, that's my lane. I, I'm the most comfortable there. That's where I'm efficient. I'm not efficient. Uh, with the realistic portraits for like help identifying people. But shout out to them for, for that, because it's awesome. This, um... Nothing, Never mind. By Dumb Luck, yeah. Star Child by Dumb Luck. It's pretty great though. Can I somehow make this look like chrome? Probably not. Probably not. I would rob people with a Tony Stark mask and they would never get me. <laughs> I wanna see Ray do the one, but well, I mean, as a caricature artist, he could probably do better than me. Although we don't talk about that. <laughs> Apparently Ray has sworn off the caricature life. Which is okay, I understand. I know what this feels like. <laughs> I know what this is feels like. I may or may not have experienced this firsthand. Like in Spider Man Homecoming? Yep. Where they're all like dressed up like the Avengers. Like cheap Halloween masks. That was pretty great. I like that. I like that uh, concept. Ray and the dark ages of drawing. I know, it's sad. 
But he, he's doing what he has to because wasn't paying the bills. Being an artist is not easy. And if you can't afford to provide for your family, then it's done. And I've said the same thing. I said, if I can't make this work, then, then it's fine. Then I will roll up my sleeves and go get a job. That's why it's so, so, so important for folks that like what I do um, if you want to keep seeing it, you gotta, you have to support. I'm sorry, I gotta shill because this is how I pay bills. So you gotta hit the store up, the Patreon, uh, sub on Twitch, buying products at the events, commissions. This is how I make my money. And if I can't, then I'll have to dive into some kind of more traditional nine to five, and then that means that the art time uh, decreases and or goes away. Did big, big characters come to shut down Ray? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> but see, the thing is, is that, you know, his business, um, was so incredibly reliant on shows. And so when, you know, when there was no shows for a year and a half, what in the world can he do? And so that's what really changed a lot for him. I mean, you know, then he did his comic, which was awesome. And that's definitely a, a life goal that he accomplished. So that's amazing. But yeah, it uh, really affected that stable income. I think I'm going to call this one done. I'm going to just keep messing around with it and that's... It's finished. We don't need to do any more with that. Big caricature. It's like Big Pharma. Alright. Got some good ones here, though, folks. Except this turtle thing. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. All right, I definitely want to do that SpongeBob one. Let me mark the Ectomobile as complete. And da -da -da. let's see. Let's do the burger from Spongebob, for sure. Because that's another one of those ones that I have not redone in a very long time. The uh, Burger Mobile. <laughs> it's so funny looking. All right. Oh my goodness, you know what? Speaking of, but Bobolavo, speaking of big caricature, there was a vendor at AwesomeCon, well not an artist, at AwesomeCon that was doing tattoos. Right, so you could actually go get tattoos and it was like a pretty big setup. It was pretty substantial. And there was like a team of like five artists all going at the same time. And their entire uh, setup, their entire like identity was in uh, Lego minifigures. All of it. Like Lego versions of pop culture characters and horror movie icons and like that was it. That was their entire identity. I stopped. I begrudgingly looked. And I was like, hmm. Hmm. 
But it was like all of it. It was the entire booth. Like all the artwork, all the prints, everything. And then they were literally doing tattoos. And I don't think the tattoos necessarily had anything to do with the artwork. But like all of the artwork was all minifigures. That's about how I acted. I was like, hmm. Doesn't matter. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. here. Did I just not round it out right? I don't think I did that. I think the perspective got funky on me. Somehow. So the front is like here. So we can do the license plate. And hey, good news everybody. For those of you that are lurking and listening and regulars to the program, um, I don't have any shows until like the first weekend of July. And even that show is a one day show on Saturday, so I would be around Friday. So that means there will be continuous live streams for like maybe a month, maybe more than a month, maybe five weeks before I have to do other things again and I might miss them. So hey, that's good, isn't it? That's good. Because I know everybody gets all upset. I understand. I really don't aim to miss um, streams. Like that's not, that does not financially benefit me. I just don't have a choice. Like sometimes I can't be in two plays at the same time. You understand. Wow. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Just copy and paste the pickle. Yes, yay for more doodles indeed. I probably need to start talking to Brian about the next uh, crossover episode too. Hey, thanks for the bits. Talk, I Lego man, appreciate it. You're literally paying me with your exposure. <laughs> you earned your own exposure and then you gave it to me. How how kind of you. I don't know what I'm doing with the perspective on that pickle. Don't worry about it. Just don't look at it. That's my recommendation is just don't. Just don't. That's one of my, one of my favorite all-time scenes from any Marvel film. Uh, I think it was Civil War? Maybe not. Maybe Avengers? Where Captain America and... Black Widow and 
Hawkeye are trying to get on the Quinjet or whatever, and they're like, excuse me, the, the S.H.I.E.L.D. agents try to stop him, and Captain America's like, son, just don't. <laughs> You're very welcome. I'll give when I can. Appreciate it. Appreciate. Appreciate you. Oh, you're you're probably getting ready for um, Brickworld, aren't you? Hawkeye Lego Man. Did we already discuss? Like, are you selling? Are you gonna like have a thing and sell your stuff or no? So the next one, uh, the next one's probably going to be the last one for the day. So if you have not gotten a chance to make a suggestion, please do so. Head over to the suggestion box and give me something. It's just got to be a vehicle from pop culture. for some color. How about some color? Ho-hum. That's rich, I'll say. Now, how about some color, stupid? Yes, sir! Uh, it turned out I couldn't get any low options for cheap buy. I have 3D prints that I designed to go with my display. Might use those as those things you place on displays if possible. Cool. Good luck. You've got like, um, how much time we got? You don't have much time, actually, now that I said that. Right? You have like, what, a week? Akil says my dad is going to join the stream. Very nice. We're we're a family show here. Let's get some lettuce. At least for the money I had in the bank, I couldn't go crazy. Yes. Oh, I'm I'm well aware. I'm well aware. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> if money was no object, everything would be different. Everything would be different. Don't you guys love how cartoon food looks? 
Even just this like burger car looks delicious. When I was a kid, I used to hate how good the spinach would look from Popeye, and I'd be like, spinach is not good. So I don't understand why you're lying to me. <laughs> and I'd see it again, I'd go, see, it looks so good, and it's not. Why are you lying to me? Stop, stop lying. No less than a week, I'll be leaving and arriving. My display is not done yet. Ain't that how it goes? Ain't, ain't that how it be? I'm not gonna have a lot of time for this next one, actually. It, we gotta pick something easy. You could have said this would be the easiest one, because it is kind of easy. But this is absolutely better than the last one I did. Absolutely. Hope you have a wonderful time, Hawkeye Lego Man. Thanks for the follow there. M Cabot999. <laughs> Seems hmm, somewhat somewhat familiar, somewhat on the tip of my tongue. Appreciate the follow. Hello, welcome. We're just uh, finishing up today. Oh, I need to change this so I can color the... Yes, color that. This, the letters. And 100 bits, thank you, sir. Too kind, too kind. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Money for the burger. Money for the boiger. Okay. Yeah, I highly underestimated how much time it was going to take to do this burger car. Highly underestimated. Which is okay. We love a family show. Well, good. You're in the right place. So today, we've been drawing vehicles from pop culture. Vehicles from pop culture has been our theme. And we've got some good ones. We have got some good ones. I think I might have enough time to do one more, but it can't be super complicated. I got schedules to keep. <laughs> I'm, I'm timely. I'm timely. Thank you, you'll be missed. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. If, uh, if you get really lonely <laughs> on Friday, more than, I mean, that's a little ways out. No, I should be here, right? I just said I wasn't doing anything until July. I'll be live streaming, so you can listen to the, uh, the old doodle stream if you, if you so desire. I certainly know how it goes in the middle of 
all the action, so. This burger car is a thousand times better than the last burger car. Although I do think I put SpongeBob and Patrick in the last one, but that's still. My dad is having fun, nice. Let's go, one more hype. All right, let me look through, what do we have? They can't be super complicated. The Invisible Jet and done. And done. Let's see what, let me look up some of these. Um, oh. Hmm. Hmm. You know my suggestions are all amazing. I'm looking at one of yours. It might be the one that I go with for, to end stuff, as I think it's probably the easiest out of all of these. Yes. All right, we're gonna do uh, the the mean machine, which is uh, dastardly and uh, mutts race car from Wacky Races. And I'm gonna do the profile. I'm gonna do profile view. So now we get to see how many people know this, what this car is. Hopefully most of you know what the car this is actually. really funny about that clip is that so that's from a cartoon called uh, we was it we bear bears about like three bears that live together like a panda bear a grizzly bear and like a polar bear and that is that is panda bears like daydream on how to deal with the guy who's cut in front of the line. So you know you when he starts singing and you see that like he gives that like weird look to that guy because he just cut him in line. And that's his his solution is to have a musical number. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But it's even funnier because that's a that's a fraction of that clip. Because he keeps going. Like he does a whole like they do like this West Side story where then the other guy starts singing and it's like a dance off, but it's all in his mind. None of it's real. Because <laughs> in real life, he's like, oh, you cut me. And he just sits there sad. It sounds right for the three bears, yeah. All right, let's, this I think needs to get turned. It, it needs to be more like down, yeah. Okay, we're getting there. So then this part goes like this. And like this. So we're only like basically 10 minutes away from ending the stream and Polish Panda, who was the main reason I created the Panda Alert, our premiere episode with the Panda Alert, has not even bothered to show up to use it. I did tell her, I gave her a, a warning, or not a warning, I gave her an advance notice that the Panda Alert was ready, and she said she was very excited and she was gonna use it, and she didn't even show up. <laughs> There's still time, to be fair. There's still time, but I think at this point.
Is this car bringing back memories for anybody? Shame, I know. Shame. Great shame. So this actually needs to get squished. Uh, hi, Kevin. What's up, Joseph Zawada? Didn't you say you were seeing a movie? Did you already see your movie? Did you get out of your movie? Is this post movie Joseph Zawada? What will next week's theme? Uh, I don't know. I need to look it up. Remind me in case I forget. I need to look it up before we end. You know I don't ever know ahead of time because why would I do that? Why would I know ahead of time? Look at this guy with a W on his car. Who does he think he is? Wario? This is the uh, this is the last doodle of today, Joseph. I'm sorry. We are only three minutes away from time, and there's no way I'm gonna uh, finish this before. So we're we're gonna go a little over, but this is this is the last doodle of today. I'm sorry. You have to do it. <laughs> it's Pride Month. You have to do it. It's post-movie, pre-pool. Oh, you're gonna go to the, the uh, pool? I'm sorry, that has nothing to do with what time of year it is. It has everything to do with what time of the stream it is. Okay, fine. Joseph Sawada has said, you know what? You know what? I don't care what time it is. I don't care how much time you have left. I don't care what the theme is. I don't care about anything. All I care about is that you will draw what I want you to draw. And not only will you draw what I want you to draw, you will draw it in 60 seconds. <laughs> it's only a minute. It only takes a minute. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Joseph Zawada has given me a 60-second drawing challenge. This is our second drawing challenge of the stream. Hopefully you know the routine. I'm going to move over this racer for a second so that I can put what I'm drawing here. I'm going to get a reference image, so stand by. Stand I chose violence. <laughs> Priscilla, queen of the desert. I don't even know what this is. All right. Priscilla, queen of the... And yes, the music is paused for the moment for dramatic effect. What on earth is this? What is this? This bus? What is this? Bus. It's just a bus. What is it? Is it like... What is it? Is it like a cape? What is this thing? It's like a cape? Someone's standing on the top. I'm so confused. What is this? So there's a bus. Oh, it's a shoe with a flag. Right? I'm getting it. Right? I'm getting it. It's all coming together. It's a bus. It is this bus with a shoe on it, and the shoe has like a cape. Yes, that's it. Okay, I got it. I got it. I need a good reference image. What color is this bus, though? There's, like, two different... I'm seeing it, like, silver and white, and then I'm also seeing it, like, pink. It's a great movie you should watch, not with the little ones. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to use this image. Just to have a reference image. So we've got this bus. With a shoe on it, with a high heel on it, and like flags. That's what was super confusing to me. All the, like the, the it's like blowing in the, in the breeze. It's all, come, oh yeah, it's all coming together. All right. This is going to be hard. Joseph, this is going to be difficult. <laughs> this is going to be a, this is going to be a thing. Oh no, and I have no mods here, so I got to do this again myself. This is what puts me at like a three second disadvantage. All right, everybody, I have 60 seconds to draw this. You are looking at the reference image I'm going to use. <sighs> oh, is that what they do? That's a shame. Why do people have to mess with stuff? All right. So, uh, yeah, I don't have any, yeah, nobody is around, no mod, so I'll have to start this off myself. So this gives me like a, a two second disadvantage because I have to click over as soon as I, I, I do this. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I got an idea. I'm gonna bring up my phone. I'm gonna type it in my phone chat, that way I don't have to click off the, see? So I don't have to click off the, the desktop. It takes like two seconds and it like sabotages me. All right, here we go. Ha, not this time. Not today. Not today. So that means I have infinite time. <laughs> that means infinite time. It means infinite time. Well, don't want to keep them waiting any longer. I'm so excited about Welcome to art class. Oh, it So, so just everything, right? All at the same time, because why not? Because, <laughs> I mean, why not? I mean, why not, truly? This is great. It's awful. Thank you for your kindness, though. Thank you, Arctic Arts. What's up, buddy? I appreciate the raid. Hello to all the awesome people you brought over. Um, did you, were you, was Panda hanging out with you, Ark? Like so. <laughs> We are in, we, thank you, uh, sorry, Joseph Zawada. This is your, your 60 second drawing challenge. I hope you love it. I hope it's everything you wanted it to be and more. Um, and thank you, Arctic Arts, for this, for the awesome raid. Uh, shout out to my buddy. If you guys are not following him, follow him. Another awesome artist, doing, doing good stuff. We were, uh, yes, we are in overtime now. I just need to finish this, uh, this race car and then we'll be done. I don't know how long that's gonna take. It's not that terribly difficult of a, of a piece. But um, uh, we've been talking about how I made this awesome alert for her and I even gave her a heads up that this was gonna be the first stream in which it was gonna be active and she has not shown up all, t all day or all stream. And so it's gotten lots of mileage, but she has not been <laughs> present to appreciate it. Um, so hello, hello everybody. If you don't know who I am, you're probably doing all right. My name is Kevin, I'm an artist, I draw, I do art stuff, that's all I do. I don't do anything else. I'm very singularly focused here on the Twitchverse, so I draw. Uh, every Friday we do this, it's called the Doodle Stream. Oh, let me turn the music back on. Now that we're not in a intense 
battle. Um, one of one of my awesome viewers challenged me to drawing a bus in 60 seconds, which is one of the redeems. Apparently, Hawkeye Lego Man was incredibly entertained. Incredibly entertained. Then the sound stopped. I couldn't hear this, the timer, so I thought, oh, I guess I just had infinite time. Which was clearly not real, but I thought I had infinite time. <laughs> she was eating. See, I told her, I gave her a heads up. I even gave her a heads up. How was, uh... So you were streaming before me, Ark? Don't you usually stream after me? Or am I imagining things? Wait, you don't stream on Fridays. I'm putting all my context clues together. Yeah, no problem. Don't worry about it, buddy. You do what you need to do. You do what you need to do, man. So, um, yeah, so if anybody, if you guys are not familiar with what I do, um, I am a freelance artist. This is, this is what I do. I do a live stream every Friday evening called the Doodle Stream, which is what we're doing right now. And I just doodle. So I just, I don't, you know, go too crazy. And I pick a theme, or rather my patrons pick a theme for me. And then everybody who's watching can give me suggestions in the suggestion box, and I draw them. Now, that being said, we are at the end of our show today. So this is the last drawing. So once I finish this, we are going to end. Just just for full, full transparency. But if you are interested in seeing more, you're more than welcome to come back next Friday or... I also do a Tuesday stream where I just work on stuff. So it's not like as, uh, it's not like as engaging, but I'm still working on art stuff. Cause this is the show where you can directly input, more input. And so today's theme was vehicles from pop culture. That was our theme for today. And I will do a little, like a, a tour, as soon as I finish coloring this one and I can show you guys, everybody who's been here the whole stream and the new Raiders, what we drew. Okay, there we go. Let's color it. Let's color it and end this. I still can't believe that Panda has not been here one time to use that, to use her alert. That alert was made for her. <laughs> it definitely got a lot of mileage though today. <laughs> I think it's great. I smile every time. Only only Ray will be irritated. <laughs> These uh, red letters here. So this, this vehicle that we're ending on here, this is... There she is, chat. There she is, chat. It's a good thing we went, we ran over today, isn't it? It is fortuitous, fortuitous that we ran over today. <laughs> Panda, we have literally been talking about you almost the entire stream. 
Hey, thank you for the follow, Fox Rogue. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> we have literally been talking about you almost the entire stream. That, Redeem, that is in your honor. That was created in your honor for your generosity to the computer fund. And people have been using it. <laughs> We were laughing though, because you you were not using it. The person in which it was created. <laughs> That's fine. This might be the best panda alarm. <laughs> I'm glad you approve of it. It is very funny. I think it's, I'm amused. I am amused. Panda's always so famous, yes. You know the best part of that is the little giggle, right? <laughs> when the, the camera pans over and he's like, ah. <laughs> It's so cursed. No, it's not, Arg. Why, why is your soul? Who hurt you? Arctic Arts, who hurt you? Tell me who hurt you. Where, where's all the joy gone in your life? <laughs> that was like the perfect clip. I was like, I need to find something, but it has to be a panda and it has to be like funny and it has to kind of maybe somehow tangentially uh, involving art or a cartoon or something. And I was like, oh, oh, we found it. We got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. It's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. I do really like the giggle though. <laughs> so that clip, it's from, uh, it's like We Bear Bear or something like that. It's like a Cartoon Network about three bears that like live together. And it's just like a modern cartoon, right? So they're like roommates. And the panda bear got cut in line. The guy like cut in front of the panda and Panda's response was to break out into a musical number. <laughs> and the clip is much longer, obviously, and the other guy in retaliation also breaks out into a song. And so they're like dueling song battling, like West Side Story style. It's pretty funny. All right, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we got eight. We got eight. It is pandem uh, pandemonium. Bubble of Osis was a good choice. Well, thank you, thank you. Fantastic. These are all questionable puns, but I'll take them. All right, let me f uh, fuse everything together real quick. So we are done, ladies and gentlemen. We're finished. We are beyond done. Um, I'm gonna move the 60 second challenges out of the way. They are gonna get moved to an entirely separate canvas and I will pull out the clips from those. Those will go on social media because they're highly entertaining to my detriment. So, um, it sounds hilarious. I have not actually watched the show but the clip was hilarious. So today, Ladies and gentlemen, we are at the end of today's stream. Today was all about vehicles from pop culture. So we've got Jabba Sail Barge from Star Wars, from a little film called Star Wars. We've got the spaceship from Rick and Morty. Uh, this thing, apparently, is called the Pizza, 
pizza wagon from the Teenage Mutant Ninja, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So like pizzas go down there and they get cooked, I guess, in the oven and then they fire out that way. So yeah, I'll let you percolate on that one. We've got the Batmobile from Batman the Animated Series, my favorite Batmobile. Here's the Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters. And here's the Mystery Machine, Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo and the gang. We've got the SpongeBob SquarePants Burger Mobile, the Krusty Krab Burger Mobile. And then we ended with uh, Dick Dastardly and Muttley's race car from the Wacky Racers. It's a pretty good little mix, huh? I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this. Our 60 second challenges were the, uh, the bus, the Priscilla bus and the unicorn. So those also occurred today. So I'll let you kind of look at, uh, that's not a good angle. I'll leave it like right there and I'm gonna see what next week's theme is and then I'll also see who we can go raid because that's what we should do. Give another artist some love and support. And I'm very happy that Panda showed up and got to see the premiere episode of the Panda Alert. Like so. oh! yummy, yummy, looks yes. so good. Hey. Yummy, yeah. yummy, Ooh. looks so good. <laughs> yummy, yummy, looks so good. <laughs> yummy, yummy, looks so good. <laughs> it's really, it's funny. I like it. I'm amused. Panda will be honored on this stream for the foreseeable future for her incredible generosity. All right, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? I'm looking through the thread for the themes. So we just did... Uh, okay, we just did that one. So the next one. Uh -huh. Okay, all right, interesting. So, so, the next patron who made in the in the in the order of submission that made the second suggestion was Hawkeye Lego Man. So Hawkeye Lego Man was the next patron that made a second suggestion, and Hawkeye wanted to do another fill the room, so fill the scene. So we did this a while ago, where it's all one image. It's not the the typical like cluster of of drawings. It's one. So it's going to be interesting. So we're going to do that next Friday. Uh, which I believe is where Hawkeye is not going to be available. So that's a shame. Um, but that's just how that's how the cookie crumbles. So we're going to pick a room, and then chat is going to add stuff into the room. So I've only done this once before, but it was fun. It was fun. So we'll do that. Um, and last time we did a kitchen, so we'll do something. We'll do like a living room or something this time. But that's our theme. It's going to be fill the scene part two. So we did fill the scene part one. We're going to do fill the scene part two. Um, next Friday. Yeah, no, no problem, Panda. Oh, Hawkeye Lego Man's like, uh, yeah, you're, you're next, buddy. I'm not even making that up. That's just what's next on the thing. Uh, let's see, who is... Oh, look, see, see, Jay Freak is trying to... See, Jay Freak did this last time, too. Where J Freak just kind of sleek, just sneaks out of the stream. She doesn't say anything, and I'm like, "Hey, everybody, you should go follow J Freak and see." What, but she's like, "I'm just gonna go quietly over here and start streaming, streaming art. I'm not gonna say nothing." So we're gonna have to go raid J Freak because I'm not gonna allow her to secretly walk away. That's not how we do things here. Thanks for watching. Huge shout out to all the amazing folks who support my work over on Patreon. Patrons have access to a ton of exclusive content, such as high-resolution files of all the artwork I drew during this episode. They even have opportunities to directly impact projects I'm working on with their input and get real gifts in the mail every single month. 
check out patreon.com slash Mr. Hinkle Draws to join me along my art journey. Be well, and I'll catch you next time. Thank you.